Uh, what do you think what uh, humans should do to keep their creativity and innovation uh, stay ahead of the machines? The only things that will you know lead us ahead of AI otherwise you know AI will replace human beings. Uh, in 2030 as expected that the technology will rise more. And never you know AI cannot uh, replicate that. No. So that's number one. Second is Welcome to the show Think Aloud with Professor Alex. Today we are going to predict what future is like in 2030. Sir, a uh, very good morning. Uh, so today we have got a lot of questions regarding future and uh, regarding what is expected in 2030. So I would really ask uh, one question to you which is uh, in 2030 as expected that the technology will rise more and as uh, so much AI also taking over machinery also uh, are being in use. Uh, what do you think what uh, humans should do to keep their creativity and innovation uh, stay ahead of the machines? A very good question actually uh, you know creativity, innovation and out of the box thinking are the only things that will you know lead us ahead of AI. Otherwise you know AI will replace human beings. However if you see the way AI works, AI works is training you know the data, AI you know trains on data. So AI gives a, first of all AI gives an average solution. AI will never give a unique you know solution that is not been trained upon. So AI is trained on various types of data and when it's asked it gives an average kind of a response. So for human creativity, human emotions, human you know the beauty that leaves, the you know uh, all those perceptions, the emotions, they never you know AI cannot uh, replicate that. So that's number one. Second is innovation. Again, same thing. Innovation is something thing different, something different, something unique. AI gives you based on the existing knowledge. So that is where it's very difficult for human beings to compete because you know, uh, so if with something that is already there, repetitive tasks or you know, kind of memorization tasks, searching tasks, AI will quickly search and find the answer. Right? You cannot beat AI on that. However. AI cannot beat humans on you know innovation on creativity on completely unique solutions right? right so completely out of the box thinking so that is where our education system should be that is where human beings should you know train them and it's a habit out of the box thinking is a habit it has to be trained from uh, you know from the childhood or you know from any point of time it has to be trained it takes some time getting used to out of the box thinking now this has to be incorporated in education in training in you know the skill way developing. yeah skill development in the way we you know we uh, go about our lives we have to find out of the box solution another thing i want to say to stay ahead of the you know uh, ai uh, you know take over yeah uh, you know who are not afraid of AI? Entrepreneurs are not afraid of AI. Entrepreneurs think AI is a boon to them. Right. So that's why I keep on telling all my students, all my viewers that develop a side hustle. Entrepreneurship cannot be a instant thing, right? It right. takes a lot of time, a lot of making mistakes, getting used to it, again rising up, making mistake, failure, rising up. So whatever your passion is, develop a side hustle. Let's say your passion, you're working in coding and let's your passion is, let's say you like writing, uh, you know, stories. Right. So start publishing storybooks right. on the side. If you like to do art, start, you know, making artwork and start selling the artwork on Amazon or Etsy.com, you know, other, there are a lot of marketplaces. Right. I've been to a maker exhibition in IEM just a few days back and they had you know uh, some students who did uh, handicrafts who did you know like jewelry right. and they were making jewelry right. like costume jewelry and i asked her and she said yes she's selling and then i told her why don't you sell on etsy.com and etsy is a very nice place to sell all these right. you know artistic things um, some people are very good at coding so you know they can do moonlighting in the evening or the weekends they can take projects from freelancer.com or from uh, you know uh, these freelancing websites like you know uh, you know upwork.com right. and they can uh, have a side hustle right. so when that side hustle becomes big enough 
that it completely uh, replaces the main income then it can be your main hustle but right. keep hustling keep working hard keep learning there is no other way because as you said it's not only about 2030 it's not only about machine learning or machines robots going to be uh, coming and helping us but it's about constant learning constant innovation constant out of the box thinking it's about developing an entrepreneurial way of thinking which is risk taking new solutions new markets new products getting in the sales more sales uh, if there are no sales if there's no income for the company then the company will not you know give that promotion that uh, you know rise up the corporate ladder so the only way forward for us in this age of ai and it's not only 2030 it's even onwards to that is out of the box thinking creative thinking you know innovative solutions side hustling entrepreneurial way of thinking all this you know takes time get started you know try to look at every solution with a possible innovative mindset how can i you know improve upon this even if you don't have that uh, uh, intent but look at everything and say okay how can this be improved how can I improve the sales right so once you develop that way of thinking then you can uh, you know slowly develop that entrepreneurial mindset and uh, you'll fail a lot of times hundreds and thousands of times but treat every failure as just one lesson one learning step and uh, you know uh, start side hustling so all of you who had this kind of question, uh, everybody here is Alexa saying that you get into multiple skills and uh, try to be uh, multi-tasking uh, and uh, also for the future all the best. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Especially if you think it's useful, share it with all your friends, all your colleagues so that they can also benefit from it. Thanks for watching.